Hi Gemini, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Read. Gemini, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, Gemini, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Okay. Gemini, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Gemini, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is person A, this is person B. Bottom of my deck, page of cups in reverse. So somebody feels uh, there is no offer on the table or the person they expected, you know, to come back and do right by them. Uh, I, I, have, I have a feeling somebody really, really was under that impression that the other person was their counterpart. This is the person who matches me perfectly. I expect them to do right by me. But I think something happened which made them give up totally. And the other person is not being able to come forward or they're not messaging because uh, they did something foolish, I guess. And now they're feeling like a fool, like uh, I feel, and they feel, you know, they've lost out on that chance or something. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Gemini. But first, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. Then I'll clarify these. Gemini and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Gemini and their person. Gemini and their person spirit. All right. Let's take a few more gems from another deck. Gemini and their person, if they could say something to each other now, spirit, what would that be? That's too many. Gemini and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Gemini and their person. Okay, just a few more gems from a third deck as well and then we can start the reading. Gemini and their person. All right, good to go gems. Let's start the reading. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, the first card here says, There is a huge void in my life since you've been gone. You deserve better than anything I can offer. There's no one in the world as amazing as you. This situation is messy. Let's talk and clear the air. It's sometimes hard to keep the faith when you're taking so long to commit. Telling you that I need you now will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. I don't think I can handle this anymore. Manifesting myself so I can be good enough to win you back. You don't have to build an empire alone. Let me build one with you. I keep reading our old text messages. I'm tired of crying and hurting over you. I feel like you've moved on from me. It's still not over, boo. I need security. All right. So, Gemini, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading. But first, of course, we're going to take an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels have for my gems today. Uh, a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Gemini. 
and the card I have here for you is safe travel. So either somebody is uh, dreaming of uh, visiting you soon, Gemini, or maybe you are planning to go somewhere. But this could also be, in a very spiritual sense, mean the uh, crossing over one phase of your life to another. Okay, so there are some soul soulmates who come into your life for a reason, season, lifetime. So this could be a situation like that as well. I don't know. I'm going to clarify these cards and figure this out. So spirit, tell me uh, what's happening here. And newcomers, I'm only picking up on two soul energies here. Okay, I don't know which side you're on, whether you're a man, woman. I don't know. I could also be picking up on the same sex couples as well, right? So this is not gender based, just two souls energetically still connected, how they feel about each other and what's the most likely action they may take towards each other. All right. So uh, let's start focus on person A and person A only. Okay. Person A, tell me what's the emperor in your feelings, in your emotions? Oh. Person A says, the person who I idolized, the person I who I thought was perfect, the person I thought was my perfect match, caught them do maybe they caught them doing something that they shouldn't have. Yeah, I think person A is kind of fed up. Uh, they feel it just backfired on them. It was all in their imagination because that, that person um, didn't step up. They could have lied or cheated or something. Made person A feel very disrespected in this connection. Uh, I think person A is coming to that point that, you know, saying, you know what, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life in regret and sorrow and sadness. I really was hoping that they would come around and they would do right by me. But here I realize that I'm the only one who's been trying. I've been trying and trying and trying and finally I am now fed up. Maybe just waiting for an apology or some explanation or something but that hasn't come either. Uh, nine of Wands, Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I think person A actually thought that this was a divine match. This is the person who was who's going to finally step up one day, realize their mistakes, come back and, you know, commit to me and um, do right by me. And that's because of that hope, I think person A kept trying and trying and trying over and over again till they felt uh, 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 something made them realize something. All this while that they were by themselves waiting for the other person to step up, they came to some realization that here I am expecting, you know, commitment and, you know, I see, I still respect them, I still see them as my counterpart, but uh, no, maybe it's over. Person is feeling betrayed and, you know, feeling this connection has come to an end and almost at the verge of saying, I'm done. I'm done being left out in the cold. I'm done feeling abandoned. I'm done feeling, you know, lonely and sad. It's maybe time for me to step up and, you know, come out of that zone and focus on my own life. Focus on moving forward. Make my own goals and dreams and move on instead of waiting for somebody to, you know, just because I see them as they were perfect for me, but uh, they didn't. So, person A feels that they never made that choice. Why do you feel this way, person A? Chariot in reverse. What's the chariot in reverse? Because I think person A stayed single for a very long time. They stayed single for a very long time, hoping sooner or later they're going to travel and come and see me or they'll send me a message or they'll apologize or do something. But I don't think that person did anything and person A finally realized, you know what, I think I might as well, if I am single, I might as well, you know, accept that this is not the person who's ever going to come uh, and commit to me. I've waited long enough, you know, focusing on myself, focusing on being single, waiting, 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 because heart, my heart said that this is my soulmate. This is the person who is sent by the universe I'm going to end up with. They're a good person. But you know what? None of my dreams and wishes came true. None of them. They did nothing. So Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, I think the person is 
finally coming to the conclusion after maybe taking some time out to reflect that uh, it's best that I shut this down now because they haven't moved an inch. I think person A is the one who's coming to the conclusion that it's time to now let down the burden. Why am I carrying all the burden of this connection, feeling okay they are the, they are the best or they are, they are this or they are that when uh, they haven't done anything to prove it and here I am being single. They haven't even spoken to me properly or explained things to me. Okay person A, so how do you feel about the connection now? How do you see person B? How do you feel about the connection? Uh, person A says, uh, they didn't, they were not fair to me, it, this connection was unjust. Yeah, why, why, why is the justice card in reverse? Why is the just justice card in reverse? Oops, I'm so sorry, I forgot to switch the phone off, just give me one second. Sorry, gems, but now the ringer is off. We won't be disturbed. Okay, so tell me, uh, person A, why, why justice in reverse? I think person A was waiting for a message for a very, very long time. They were manifesting, they were hoping, they were wishing that things can be balanced out, wrongs can be made right, waiting, um, waiting for an explanation or a message or some communication. But uh, now it's like, yeah, you know what, if they're never going to do it, then it's, I might as well, I might as well kind of release this connection. Maybe it's just a toxic karmic soulmate or maybe there's just so much of bad blood now or this is time to release the devil now. Maybe the devil in their own mind where they thought that this is it and whatever. Basically person A feels that no, I don't see any more, any more hope for growth or abundance or fertility in this connection anymore. Uh, person A is feeling a little miffed and a bit disrespected, right? They really expected the other person to do right by them and they haven't. Empress in reverse. Yeah, person A is healing right now. They're healing their heart right now but still maybe a bit confused as to why things ended. Why did this tower happen? Why why hasn't thing why why have we not rebuilt? I don't know. Person A is healing. Uh, maybe now they realize that they were just an option to person B and that doesn't make them feel good at all. They feel, yeah, if this was a karmic soulmate, then I might as well bring this to an ending, a death. Okay, so, well, what action person A will take, I'm going to open later. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So, person B. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they haven't messaged, done, done nothing. Why? Because they've been disappointed in their own selves. They, they haven't said anything till now because they feel they never put in the investment when the time was right and now they don't know how. Like one of the cards said that, right? Uh, telling you that I need you now will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. So they haven't been able to send that message because they know they've caused person A a lot of disappointment and now they are disappointed in themselves because they made some foolish uh, mistake or something and they actually person B feels even if I send them a message I'm not going to be get, given a second chance. They feel that they've been judged now and they probably will never get a chance again because of the disappointment they've caused and that's the reason they are not talking and that's the reason they are not messaging. Uh, what's the fool card in reverse person B? Yeah, they feel, they feel uh, I'm not going to get a brand new beginning. I'm sure my person is fed up of me, has already given up on me, exhausted of me, tired of me and that's the exact card I saw on person A's side. But what they are not realizing is person A did wait. They did try, they did wait and after that they've come to that conclusion. But person B hasn't been saying anything because they know they have done something foolish which they are very stressed about. Having sleepless nights, um, anxiety, stress, maybe they were in a third party situation or something, right? They did something, I mean I did see person A caught them doing something they shouldn't have, maybe that was it and since then they've been feeling very foolish. So person B tell me. 
why do you feel why do you feel you won't get a second chance tell me you tell me in your own words seven of wands in reverse they didn't you person b says i never fought for the connection even though i knew i knew that this was a soulmate bond i knew that the person a was my true partner a divine gift and we were you know perfect together but you know what i never expressed anything to them i played mind games with them i was emotionally closed off i never told them that i liked them maybe maybe they also treated person a like just a friends with benefits or something uh, three of cups in reverse three of cups in reverse yeah they they were they they thought they had enough time yeah they they thought they had enough time and later on they could they could you know do what was right and come back as an emperor uh, but person a always saw them as an emperor from the very beginning but person b was wanting to take their own sweet time because i think they could have been involved with somebody else as well and they thought yeah even though i know person a is the one uh let me let, let me maybe let me take a little more time maybe enjoy myself a little more you know enjoy my life a little more but uh, uh now they realize that that really didn't serve them now they are seen as a playboy or somebody who is a heartbreaker promise breaker um and they also probably feel now that person a has stopped fighting for them they feel now i'm being rejected because of my foolish behavior of the past person b is not very happy either they are not happy that the the, the situation is in conflict even now so person b tell me how do you feel about the connection now how do you see person a and how do you feel about the connection death in reverse what's the death in reverse person b is very depressed they are very depressed because things are just not changing or one second one 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 more yeah as much as i think person b is hoping that uh, things don't change between the two of you they are depressed they are depressed because they feel that they chose the wrong direction in the past uh, they chose the wrong person or something in the past and that came out in the open some secrets of theirs were revealed high priestess twice in reverse right so something came to light what was that uh, person b what's the high priestess in reverse tell me something which was uh, yeah the one second i don't know something was revealed which because of which they feel person a stopped fighting for the connection they they know they did wrong they do they know some injustice happened they do know also that person a found out something about them and gave up on that dream of having the ten of cups with them uh maybe you guys had an argument or some words were exchanged between the two of you regarding that right uh, some conversation which was not very nice and uh, right now person b feels that no things are still in troubled waters uh, uh, they're just not finding that place where they can come back into peace and harmony once again i think it's a bit of guilt from person b's end they they don't feel that they they are worthy of you know getting that apology or get getting forgiven so let's see what actions you guys will take i'm going to take another deck for this one uh, gemini and uh, while i shuffle these cards may i please request you remind you if you could just tap the like button for me please it helps the videos to circulate i've been told but makes me happy to know how many of you i actually connect with and uh, newcomers repeating viewers do join this omkara family subscribe share like thank you we welcome you in So person A action from your end towards person B or otherwise three of wands in reverse yeah person A is kind of turning their back to this connection now why is that why is that an action three of wands in reverse three of wands in reverse magician okay 
hanged man in reverse high priestess tower seven of pentacles hmm, hmm, yeah person a has been manifesting this for a very long time a ten of pentacles i think with person b but at this time i think yes they are turning their back because they're tired of the wait it's like i can't stay stuck in the situation any longer rom kara taro you know what uh, i'm disappointed i'm really really disappointed i never got the offer i've been bored i've been lonely i've been disappointed and uh, they haven't spoken either they haven't come forward with any kind of clarity either there's been silence between the two of us and yes maybe it's time now to you know accept that we've had an ending okay person b tell me action from your end towards person a or otherwise the hermit in reverse they are still kind of sitting in their own pity party of saying yeah i know i made some foolish unwise choices am i right person b or do you want to come out of your hermit mode now tell me why is the hermit in reverse or are you just plain lonely now what's the hermit in reverse strength they're seeking the courage <laughs> they are in their little nest wondering how to work this out wondering how to have a reunion uh they do want to have a new beginning this person is dreaming that they can rush just rush towards person a and get this victory in their mind they are hoping and wishing that they could just end the fight and you know things could end again but uh, i don't think this person has the courage because of whatever happened here maybe there was a third party here 333 i mean so so many times right so they are kind of in their little zone trying to understand what they did themselves and gathering up courage to be able to come forward so will you person b that's very um, that's a funny non conclusive action that i can feel give me three more the fool is a sorts king of wands yeah they definitely want a revival of this connection they do want to take a leap of faith but uh, i think they're a bit scared they could be a bit scared that uh, the other person is now you know taken back their power or is become very strong maybe they are with somebody else what if they there are other options now they but they do want to talk they do want to talk and clear the air i don't know when i can't promise you that because uh, they are trying to gather up the courage and the strength so that's all i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste